What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Redemption with Jaden. We're back with uh, another video today with some uh, Zoom tournament gameplay, actually. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a little while, so glad to be able to show some paper games again here on the channel. This is the Zoom Discord Invitational hosted by Rob M. Studios, and this will be round one. I got paired up against Jake, or Eager the Wise, and so I decided that... Uh, I guess to kind of stick with what I had, uh, what I had been, uh, what I built, and what I talked about uh, a couple weeks ago now with the Kentucky State Tournament recap, I did, uh, I, I used, I guess, a musicians and uh, like evil gray, and kind of just uh, OT gray, I guess, uh, deck here. And uh, I had a good time with it. I thought it was pretty good and, and could definitely use a little bit of refining and so I figured that's uh, something I could use the Zoom Discord Invitational Tournament for and uh, I'm excited to work on this deck over a few rounds. I might switch it up a little bit. I've thought about maybe switching out the defense completely um, but that's uh, something that we might test later on but for now I just wanted to try out a few of the changes that I had talked about in that video. Uh, so I'm not going to go through the whole deck entirely. If you want to gonna get the whole breakdown of the deck, you can go to the Kentucky State Tournament recap and get that. Um, you can skip ahead to the part where I talk about the, the Type 1 deck that I, that I used, which actually I think is right at the beginning, so uh, after you know, a little intro or whatever. Uh, so you can go and check that out, see the deck in its initial form, and uh, I'm going to talk about a few of the changes that I made uh, fairly briefly here. So the first one that I'll talk about is adding Banner of Love. That was a pretty easy swap in. Like I, I wasn't really thinking about Banner of Love and the fact that I could use it in the Kentucky State Tournament where I got it. And so uh, I just didn't think to put it in the deck. Uh, it definitely belongs in here. And so I slotted that in. Getting that uh, interrupt battle winner is pretty great, especially when you can get some added value uh, by either making it cannot be negated with Asaph or Mordecai, and then banning in Hannah for uh, you know to, to draw some cards there. Martha is a, a new addition uh, that can do a little hand uh, control, I guess, from my opponent. Uh, so if I win the battle and also make them reserve an evil card from hand, it seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, could also ban to Lazarus, get a little bit of drawing, could even negate evil cards. Uh, if I'm not playing uh, Banner of Love on one of the CBN guys, then Lazarus can kind of help to uh, make it pseudo CBN, I guess, or you know, making it so that if they do have a negate, they have to have one that cannot be prevented or cannot be negated. So it makes it a little more challenging to negate Banner of Love. So uh, that's kind of the, the only change with the enhancements that I made. I sw uh, slotted that in for the Lord Goes Before You and then put the Lord Goes Before You in reserve and took Brother's Conflict out of reserve. And then with the heroes, I took out Name and Servant Girl and I added both Lazarus and Martha. I wanted another female hero to work with Banner of Love. I was actually talking with uh, Reth on Discord and he was talking about how it seems like La Martha and Lazarus could just be in any white deck regardless of you know, whether it's Old Testament musicians or uh, if it's um, you know like a nativity deck uh, maybe it's a little you know less there but definitely like an empty tomb deck or just a you know gospel or GOC good stuff deck uh, Lazarus and Lazarus and Martha can definitely both fit well in there and uh, he was thinking that maybe they could fit well in with uh, musicians as well, and so I thought that I would give them a shot, especially with Banner of Love. It seems like they both work fairly well with that, and I wanted to make sure I had another uh, female to go along with Hannah and then all the, the dudes uh, to, to get the you know, discard on, on Banner of Love there. Um, so that was the those were the main changes with the offense. The other changes that were just kind of part of the deck as a whole, I guess, uh, was bringing it down from 57 cards, which is what I had at the Kentucky State Tournament, to 53, mainly that uh, came out in taking out some of the utility stuff and trimming down the defense a little bit. 
I think, oh no, 52, sorry, not 53. I uh, brought it down from 57 to 52, which is a little more reasonable, I guess, for trimming it down. Like, if you're going to trim it down from 57, you should probably try to go all the way to 50. That's kind of what I was going for, but just didn't quite make it there. But uh, maybe over the next few rounds or, or whatever, I can get there. Um, so one of the cuts was a Bihu, so now I only have Nadab as the Tabernacle Priest. It just didn't, I don't think I actually blocked with a Bihu at all during the Kentucky State Tournament. I think I mentioned that in the recap video. And the uh, philosophy, like, tabernacle thing on defense wasn't working super well. Like, I don't know that I have... I think I maybe triggered it once, um, getting philosophy with Nadab on defense with the tabernacle. And, yeah, it just seemed like it wasn't working as well as I had hoped. And so I figured it would probably... Uh, me who was just kind of the weakest character... Um, and Nadab is still good, and it's still worthwhile to have the tabernacle in here, I think. But, um, yeah, I think Nadab was, uh, is sufficient as far as tabernacle priests on defense go. That might change in, um, for the next round. Um, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but I'm thinking about, like, if I really need to protect Tabernacle, it's not really a huge, or like a, a super central part of this deck. It is nice to have the, the reserve access and all that, but, like, I'm thinking that uh, this the Glory of the Lord could be switched out for the new Glory of the Lord, and I would have a little bit more battle interaction. I mentioned that in the video as well, uh, and then maybe that means taking out Complacent. I'm not entirely sure on that, or sold on that. I still like having Complacent available, but... Uh, if it be who stays, then then Glory uh, could could switch out, or I guess maybe if I do switch out Glory, then I think a be who maybe comes back in, just so I have another priest uh, to take advantage of the new ability on Glory of the Lord. Uh, which quick update on that Banner of Love and Glory of the Lord, they are both uh, not in Lackey, as you can see. I'm, uh, I've got the old Banner of Love here in, and I'm just overlaying the the new image so that you guys can see what it does. Um, but I've just got this in here as a placeholder for now. That Lackey update is hopefully happening soon, like within the next week or so. There were some issues with it and just some uh, delays from people involved being busy and, and everything that's uh, totally understandable, but uh, it's been a little bit longer than I had initially anticipated or hoped, but we're, uh, we're getting there. So those promos will be on there and also... Uh, some other updates just for long-term consistency and uh, and whatnot with the naming conventions for Lost Souls in particular. So if you didn't see my post on Discord, um, there are going to be some changes, uh, most likely, I guess. I, I kind of put it up to get some feedback from the community, and it seemed like people were on board with changing the names of Lost Souls so that they would uh, show up more or so they would be consistent in the the deck editor and then they'd be easier to to search because some of the lost souls have quotation marks and then their little moniker some of them just have uh, the moniker in parentheses some of them use the the reference some of them you know, don't have that so just to make everything simpler and like even the identifiers uh, in the identifier column are inconsistent and so um, those things are going to be changing in the next update that means though uh, with the card names changing is that any card names that do change will be taken out of decks or like they just won't appear in decks that they were in uh, so if you do the update and you open up your deck you might notice that some of your lost souls are missing uh, like in this case i think most of these would be missing because they like the like maybe humble would still be there um I can't remember exactly how I have the format, but most of them would be missing. Uh, and so what you're going to want to do is do export as TXT before you do the update. And that will create a text file that has your deck list in it. That won't be modified after the update um, unless you export your deck as TXT again after doing the update before you fix it. Uh, but you can then use that text file as a reference when you go back and add the lost souls that you had in there you can just you know re-add them to your deck and then save them uh with their new names and everything then you can do export as txt again to save your deck list as a as a text file if you want it for any reason uh, and then once you do that you can 
uh, or I guess once you export it as TXT and you want to find that, you can just go to browse and then open directory and that will bring up your uh, file explorer. You can't see it on my computer because I just have Lackey, but this open directory button um, is what you'd want to do and it'll just open it up in wherever your Lackey deck files are. Okay, anyways, back to the deck. Those are the main changes I made on the defense. I believe I kept all of the same evil enhancements um, and other characters as well. It's just trimming a Bihu. And then over here, I cut out Golgotha. I cut uh, Den or, um, Satan's Seat for Colosseum just because uh, disciples were giving me difficulties at Kentucky State and Colosseum is another way to, to deal with them. Uh, it, I don't know if it's really the the best answer, but it's just something that I noticed the deck was struggling with, and uh, in general, it just works well with this deck because nothing gets tossed by it. Uh, I cut pretty much everything that would have before even putting Coliseum in here. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm mostly just trying to get CB enhancements with Naaman and Resin and Asaph and Mordecai, so and having or tossing the Canopy Negated stuff is great. Also works well with uh, Lazarus. So um, what I don't like is that it negates Nadab, which is a, a little bit annoying, but Satan C was doing that too. So uh, it's not really all that big of a deal. Uh, and then, of course, I had to cut a Lost Soul and a Dominant in order to get down to 52 as well. I ended up cutting um, Lawless and uh, Lost Souls. And then, or really, I was just cutting Lost Souls and uh, replacing it with Covet. And then I cut Lawless um, because it was New Testament, and so Covet could give me a little bit of Soul Gen alongside um, having the OT Unity. This could maybe be Lost Souls still, but I wanted to have a few more threats as far as like protecting Complacent goes. Um, if I can take something good out of their deck that they might want to use Son of God on, I uh, just thought that Covet would be a little more likely to do that. I can take Lost Souls from them if I need to, but um, you know, more likely I'm going to want to take a Humble or a Distress or, or something. I mean, like Distress is going to be a big one that I'll, I'll look for so that my music leader will still work. But, um, you know, basically any Lost Soul that is more threatening in my territory to kind of protect sort of my Complacent, uh, my Humble, uh, my Color Guard, uh, just because the other Lost Souls that I'm running, like Darkness, Hunter, and Prosperity, they're not going to be as great as, like, you're, nobody's going to play Son of God on them unless it's in the same phase and uh, it's, you know, negating them for a good reason. Um, and the same would have gone, or did go for Lawless, and that's part of the reason why I cut it. Lawless is definitely very good, and it's nice to, to get to your defense early, so maybe that's not necessarily the right call, but, you know, it's the, decided to try it out, see how it, how it works out. And then for the dominant, I cut Mayhem. It was kind of the, the eighth dominant to begin with when I was first building the deck, and, um, it, it's nice, but just didn't really feel like it was necessary in this deck. Uh, by trimming it down, I make it a little more consistent anyway, and I think the other dominants were just more important. In hindsight, maybe Mayhem was better than Glory of the Lord, or would have been better, but um, yeah, I think the new Glory of the Lord, uh, I think, would work better in that spot. So uh, that's something that I'm thinking I'll probably try out here, so... I did not do it for this game yet, though, uh, so this game is going to be against uh, Jake, as I mentioned before. Uh, I'm, I'm a little... I, I made a fairly uh, sizable mistake in this game uh, that I think was in the first uh, turn or two that I'm a little uh, uh, bummed out about. It's, it's really, like, it, it was an understandable mistake. I'm not, you know, feeling too hard on myself for it. Uh, but it's, uh, and, and we didn't catch it, like, uh, it didn't really, um, it, it didn't wrongly impact the game because it was caught in time, but it was just a, a missed thing that I, I should have thought about, should have remembered or put something out to, to remind myself of the, uh, star ability on Stricken that Jake had activated during, uh, one of his turns, and so... That kind of came back to bite me and was was costly. It didn't impact the outcome of the game too much. 
Uh, but it's just something I wanted to to make a note of. You know, I'm willing to admit it. It was a it was a pretty poor. Uh, or I mean, it wasn't necessarily a. I mean, it was definitely a bad play. But I just uh, it, it's something that I'm gonna have to be thinking about in in the future and how I can remember to do that. And um, there's been some talk about like taking things back or like allowing your opponent to take something back. Uh, in this case, Jake would have. Uh, he, he offered to let me take it back and I decided to, to stick with it. And that's kind of, um, there, there was a little bit of discussion about this on the discord of like, you know, like taking things back, um, like during official tournament play, I, I think it's, you know, uh, if you take your hand off the card, it's what you've played or if you, um, you know, to, to a certain degree, if you say, like, if you say what you're targeting, then uh, I mean that's a little bit more fuzzy. Like I, I think that that's probably like a lot of people wouldn't hold you to that as like if you're kind of at the you know, top tables at nationals sort of thing. But if you're just at like a local or something, then maybe not. Um, but uh, that that kind of varies from person to person. But one thing that I've I think has been helpful for me personally. I don't think it, I don't know if it's the same for, for everyone. I don't think it is. It sounds like it's not based on some of the conversation that was being had, but, uh, if you do make a, a misplay, um, just stick with it. That's, that's what I've been kind of, uh, has, has been my part of my mentality, I guess, in improving my redemption gameplay, uh, is just like, I, I made a misplay. I'll own up to it, uh, stick with it. And then I'll remember for later, and I don't do this all the time. Like, a, like if I'm playing a, a fairly casual game, or like if I'm, you know, wanting to like uh, really just any casual game, and I'm really wanting to test out a deck, like I'm I'm testing, does this work? Um, or you know, play testing or something as a, a, another example where it's like, okay, yeah, I made this misplay. Uh, this is a, a new deck, something I'm not really used to. That's something I'll remember for next time, um, and I'm, I don't need to have it like ingrained in my head, uh, like I do some of the other misplays that I've made uh, throughout the past and had to to stick to either by choice or because I was in a tournament, and um, you know, it was an uh, official tournament, I guess I should say, um, and so yeah, in general, during tournament games especially if they're official. It's like, you know, I'm not going to take it back. I'm going to remember remember this. If you're playing a casual game, it's it's really up to you. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll just stick with it if I think it'll just help me remember. Sometimes I'm like, oh, okay, you're allowing me to take that back. Thank you. Uh, and, you know, I'll take it back and, and you know, make another play, but still kind of take a mental note of that. I don't feel like it makes too much of a difference uh, whether you remember it or not, um, I don't know. It's it's a very like I, I don't think there's a hard and fast rule for everyone, but it is something that that might be helpful for you if you're you know seem like you're forgetting triggers or you're misplaying a certain card often enough, um, or just you know it's a it's a big misplay that okay if I stick with this I'm gonna remember it and like it is significant for the game. Like, if I take this back, then I might have a better shot at winning. Or, like, you know, this battle is going to go my way. I'll be a lost soul ahead or something like that. Where you're maybe more on a trajectory to win. Whereas, if you make this misplay, it either costs you the game. Or, uh, you know, it, it definitely puts it more in flux, I guess. Or uh, more up in the air. Then that you're going to be more likely to remember that in the future. And so even in casual games, it can be helpful to do that. Uh, if you're like really working on refining a deck, um, you know, that can be a, a good principle or, or kind of policy to have for yourself. Uh, so something to think about, uh, especially if you're playing a lot of, you know, the, of these unofficial tournaments kind of have a mentality of, uh, how you want to do that ahead of time. Um, uh, one thing that is kind of nice is that it's just from an integrity standpoint, if you're consistent, that's probably better. Um, like if you're like taking things back against certain opponents, but not during other or not against others, then, you know, that's a little iffy, uh, 
or like you're, I don't know, uh, you, a lot of us are friends and, and we can hold ourselves to, to different standards or like, you know, maybe I'll hold a more uh, experienced player to different standards than I will uh, a newer player, of course. But um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, just something to, to, to think about, maybe have in mind before uh, playing competitive games and, and kind of having an idea of, you know, this is the the policy I want to have for myself. So you're not just like kind of thinking about it in the middle of a game and then you go back later and you kind of regret either, you know, letting your opponent take something back that you, you shouldn't have or, um, you know, letting or taking something back that, that you feel like you, you shouldn't have and it you know, impacted the game more than you thought it would or something like that. Um, I don't know. It's not really my place to, to say what's right or wrong, but just uh, some things that I had been thinking about and had been brought up in the Discord. Anyways, I won't take up too much of our time before getting into the game here, uh, but I do want to give a shout out to our sponsors over at Your Turn Games, of course, as usual. And we're going to be featuring another uh, kind of feat, well, uh, item, I guess, available on uh, Your Turn Games. One of these things that is maybe not as well known or like it's not something that I uh, typically uh, go through a whole lot and like look for updates and stuff, but uh, uh, Andy has these bundles available on Your Turn Games, which um, are like, one. I mean, the, the best one to probably get or kind of the most common one to, that people will be getting are the, the K&L Starter Decks Bundle, which for just under 40 bucks you can get uh, the K&L Starter Decks with enough sleeves for both, for both decks and then a deck box to go along with them. Um, then there are other, like, just kind of uh, important competitive bundles, I guess, uh, where you can get a package of these New Testament Lost Souls that are not necessarily staples, but uh, some of them might be, and, and they're all very good. Uh, if you want to play a New Testament Unity Lost Souls deck, uh, then this would be a very good way to, to get started. And most of these Lost Souls you won't be getting from like contender decks and uh, other you know, deals and stuff where they might be harder to open in packs because they're rares. Um, you know, not all of them are, but some of them. And uh, most of these ones are all in fairly high demand, and then that's going to be the same for the uh, Old Testament Lost Soul bundle here too. Maybe slightly less for these ones, but of course like Darkness, Prosperity, Distressed, Covet and Hunter. So this top row is probably like your most in high demand Old Testament Lost Souls, uh, maybe other than the Roots uh, Lost Souls Lost Soul. Uh, and then the bottom ones here are going to be um, all just useful, uh, generally useful Lost Souls. And then, of course, we've got the uh, Borderless Dominance Bundle, which you can get these all uh, inexpensively, or, well, less expensively, I guess, uh, through the fundraiser still, uh, as of as of now, through on the Cactus website. You can get the kind of uh, regular border versions of these, uh, or at least the, the fundraiser regular border versions of these, uh, but the borderless versions are obviously very pretty. Um, and you can get all three of these for $200, which uh, is like um, almost $40 off of their, their value. It's about, or it's a little over 15%. So these bundles can be very useful, especially if you are in the market for uh, competitive <laughs> deck building cards. Uh, these will be useful in pretty much every deck that you build. Uh, so those bundles are, are good to, to grab. And, uh, looks like these, the, the national promos bundle is sold out from, uh, 2023. So, um, but that's just something to keep in mind that there are promo bundles in here occasionally as well when Andy has them in stock. And so maybe after the 2024 national tournament, you can look for those if you're interested in getting your hands on some fancy promos like the Textless Son of God or the other ones that have been spoiled for 2024 in the spoilers channel lately. So if you haven't checked those out, you can do that as well. Anyways, that is uh, bundles on your turn games. And of course they have all their other usual products as well. And we appreciate them sponsoring the channel here. 
So without further ado, let's get on to the game against Jake. Let's do it. Hello. Trembled Soul. Lost Souls. I got a complacent. Ooh, I hate that card. <laughs> um I guess I will choose to go first. Mm-hmm. And I have no star abilities that I would like to activate. I do have some star abilities. At least one. Let's do Virgin Birth. It's pretty good. Okay. Um. Let's grab. Let's grab. I'll grab bot to kill. Yep. Loading up on that defense. All right, yep. complacent is doing complacent things. Uh, meek token will go to me. Do I have meek tokens? I should have something around here. Okay. Um, so I'll give myself a meek, and then I'll grumble. All right. Don't forget to bring paper and scissors to all your tournaments, people. Exactly. Card exactly. <laughs> down, draw one. Okay, I knew that was a card I was going to be. I forgot. I knew that's a card. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I uh, will get us started then. Yep, go ahead. Uh, put down the tabernacle. And I will go to battle. Okay. Attack with Mordecai. Okay. So his stuff is CBN. Yep. And I my OT enhancements are CBN and I protect hands, decks, and reserves from evil characters. Hands, decks, and reserves from evil characters. Okay. And Tabernacle. Um, Does not trigger off Mordecai. Yeah. So it's got no current relevance to the. the right. Yep. If I. If I ban to a Tabernacle Priest or Musician, then it could trigger. But I don't yeah. have anything in my discard pile, and I can't go to Reserve, so it's also that. Good. Really, it's just Let's to throw you off, you know. Yeah. I keep worried about it. Let's do a block with Outsiders. I'll try to put you in SI off that immediately. Sure. Um, hmm. It's under deck, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then my guy will die from. Yeah, if it was if it was bounce, then I might let it happen just so that outsiders would die. But uh, I guess mm -hmm. I will royal parade and bounce your outsiders. Okay, so it's interrupt the battle, CBN, and you bounce it. Yep. Yeah. Let me see if I have anything. Have anything. Can I have dominant initiative? Uh, I've got complacent, so no. Oh yeah, that's fine. Can't do that one. Okay, I will give you grumbled. Couldn't play one even if you had something. <laughs> Calling your bluff. Yeah. All right. Let's so get some score dice up here. And I will um, pass the turn. Sounds good. Okay. Draw three. Two, one. Two. Three. Two. Star ability stricken. Take all that Let's do next battle phase. Let's see here. Let's do Magi to territory. Let's do uh, do Temple Veil. I will 
look at your hand. I have Captain of the Chariots, Curse of Their Parents, Angel of the Lord, and the Second Coming, and Duplicity. Interesting. Okay. So, Captain of the Chariots, can you tell me exactly what that card does? If blocking, I may equip an evil weapon from reserve to draw two. If I do not, I may choose a good king to attack. Cannot be negated if a Syrian king is in play. Okay, okay. And Curse of Parents is discard all good cards in battle but can't be prevented. And what? Uh, so discard all cards in battle and up to X good cards in a territory cannot be prevented. The X is the number of good dominance in opponent's discard pile. Okay, okay. Here's a lord set to do this. Okay. Um, for... Temple Veil second part. Let's just deactivate it. Sure. Let's see here. Good thing you deactivated. I was thinking about playing Second Coming for three woes to negate it so that you'd forget what you saw. Exactly. Forget what you saw. You cannot <laughs> remember. I negated it. <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay, let's put a Priest of Zeus down. Let's put outsiders down. Let's do resurrection of healer territory. Let's go for Zachariah the Silent to territory. Territory class um, angel appears. Puts me at four, so I get to go to deck. Yep. Grab the real mouth of God. CVP battle winner, duplicity, and a random dude. Hey. He doesn't Not do just any turn. random dude. He's pretty, he's pretty random. He doesn't do much on turn one, at least. Well, that's fair. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. Um, I got four cards in hand. Is it okay to go to battle? Yep. Negating your neutrals. Let's do an attack with Resurrection Revealer. It's going to get me a resurrection and play it immediately. I'll get stable out because I'm going to get right that. Yep. And Resurrection. I'll grab John. John. John Fisherman. The play stables. Plays John, and I get to ban two, three New Testament heroes. New heroes. I'm going to ban two John, Zechariah, and Magic. I'll do Zechariah first. Sure. Um, do Magi last. Here's that. Discard. Oh, it's technically still inside. Zechariah, John, Magi. Orchard in my territory. Um, so, Zachariah, we'll draw two. Grant your next. You back at four in hand, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm back at four, so this puts me at six now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, John the Fisherman will draw me two. Actually, yeah, two no toss. I got a humble. Um, humble will give me another meat. It's like, wait, I finish. Yeah, I think you finished Magi first, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is the replacement for the Humble. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So four, six, eight. And then Magi will ban to Gabriel. Gabriel will search my deck for a good Gospel Silver, a Gospel Silver card. It's going to be the Annunciation. Mm -hmm. Um, and then that means I get my token, and I believe you are up. Well, he negates Gabriel negates. Um, does not matter actually. So, yep, you are up. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Um, I will ask for Dominish. You want Dominish? You got Second Coming and Angel of the Lord. Um, let's see here. 
you three woes. I don't want you three woes that would ruin me. Um, go ahead. You have Dominish. Um, all right. I was hoping you'd say no and then do something. <laughs> Drastic. Now I have to decide if I actually want to do what I was, what I'm considering. Which, do I even have that in this deck? I'm trying to remember if I'm running Crowd's Choice or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why can't I remember? I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, but that's so bad if you do have something else you can do. You know what? I'm feeling gutsy. Gutsy. I'm, here we go. I'm almost positive I have crowd choice in here. <laughs> if I don't, I'm... <laughs> That'll be pretty bad. Alright, second coming. Coming down. Okay. For good? Or... I guess it's going to be good. But it's it's yeah. not crowd choice. Uh, there's the crowd's choice. <laughs> it was like the third card in my deck too, so <laughs> I was, was kind of sweating a little bit there. Uh, crowd's choice coming down as evil, mm -hmm. and that is going to um, yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you had a stricken at the very oh, yeah, beginning of this turn. Uh, you can take the second coming back. Uh, oh, that's that's awkward. Uh, oh, I forgot about it, so that's it's on me. Okay, sorry about that. I've done so much in this first turn. Yeah, I forgot about this. Was, oh, I need to put a reminder token out for stricken. On the uh, oh, that's. That's not good. Oh, I found tokens. Cool. There we go. Um. Yeah, that's a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that one. And, okay. Oh man. I feel like there needs to. We need to have like a stricken token. Like you know, there's a. Yeah. No, seriously, that that was a good idea. I should have put a stricken token down. That's my bad on that. Oh, what is like the, uh, the the territory class one that I think, yeah uh, Zach printed off, or um, we can just make it like a, a a full art stricken little like piece and just put it in the middle of the field. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Yeah. Um, that puts me at nine cards in hand. Let's do a. Um... Put down a brood of vipers in territory, and I'll pass to you. Okay. Alright. So I can't draw, but I can search. My neutrals are negated. Uh, wow. What do I do about that? Guess I will. Just go to battle. Okay. And I will attack with Mordecai. Mordecai. No exchange. No exchange. He's an eight. He's big, right? Like he's like an eight seven or something. Eight nine. Eight nine. Okay. So CBN he protects decks from evil characters. Uh, deck or hands decks and reserves from evil characters. But because I have Bethlehem Stable, I'm protected from. Uh, right, yes. Let's do a block with... Steaver. I'll go to deck. And I will grab... You said he's an 8 now? Mm-hmm. We'll grab Salt Tarsus. Sure. I you to use that angel. Um, Saul will go to my reserve for a matching enhancement. I will grab uh, 
Well, how many cards do you have in hand? This will put me at eight. Hmm. Yeah, I guess if you insist. Okay. Um, may I have dominant initiative? You may. I'll pass. Um, I will give you one of my tokens I've been supplying myself with. Speed. I will pass the turn. Okay, I'm at one. You didn't get any souls, so I'll just generate some souls for you. <laughs> one, two. Okay, I got stars. Ooh, speak of the devil stars. I have virgin birth and lost child found. Um, I will. I will do virgin birth first, okay. and then I'll do the lost child found. Um, Grab Eric's Temple off of Virgin Birth. Lost Child Pound will go to your deck to play a soul. Yeah, I'll just kind Moses, of fan Art, through and call out the Lost Souls. Virgin Birth. Humble. Humble, okay. Yeah. Martha, Hunter. Resin, Hunter, Lazarus, Saul, Banner of Love, Three Woes. Mask of Fear, Faith and Vowed, Coliseum, Deceiver, Prosperity, um, Music Leader, No Doubt. What does he do exactly? He's the Protect. Protect hand decks and reserves from opponent's cards, Banter and Evil OT Priest, or reserve the bottom card of a deck. Okay. Yeah. Cross, Darkness. Shipwreck, Darkness. Stricken, Glory of the Lord. Is that the new one or the. This is the promo, the or the, the old one, sorry. I guess they're both right. promos. <laughs> the Sounds tabernacle good. one. And uh, Hannah, um, Flying Prophet. What was the good enhancement? Was it uh, self-destruction? Self-destruction, self -destruction. yep. Hopper and Love Righteousness. Nola. Lost Child Found, 24 Elders. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Son of God, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, color Guard. <laughs> and, uh, you can't read that? All right, so let's grab so, your... Humble, Hunter, Prosperity, yeah. Darkness, I'm thinking, Hopper. I'm thinking Prosperity is the best choice. I don't want you catching up in in terms of uh, speed on me. So Sounds good. Uh, we'll give you that, and whenever your Prosperity enters, I'll give you a meat token as well. Sure. So I'll just two tokens for you. Okay. Wait, just one token, right? Sorry. Oh, there are two souls for you. That's what I meant. Okay. Okay. Um, upkeep effects. I do have a stable. And I will grab a nativity card from my reserve. Grab the child is born. Okay. I know you got a duplicity in hand. I'm gonna worry about that. Um, let's see here. Let's do so we'll move into prep phase, I believe. Sorry, the parents still my hand. Um phase for prep phase. Put down here it's temple. I will Activate Temple Veil on Herod's Temple. See your hand. Well, the uh, crowd's choice came back. Nice. Uh, Land of Moab, Asaph, the Psalmist, Captain of the Chariots, Curse Their Parents, and Duplicity. Same, same old, same old those. Duplicity is annoying because it's going to be an unsuccessful, most likely, but okay. Could be. Um, yeah, that's good. And I will deactivate Temple Veil. Um, let's see here. Let's do a... How do I get rid of your ability to... Let's get a good seed as my territory class enhancement. Sure. Let's do a... Denarius, I'll get a Roman mm -hmm. in my deck. 
It's going to be Emperor Nero, a play, and then crack it. Yep. Three. Puts me at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cards in hand. Do an attack with Guard. Oh, sorry, Denarius is crap. Um, we'll do Guardians of Glory, banding to Zachariah. Help your venture next enhancement. You cannot draw. But that'll be my. Two heroes rescuing that totals to 12, 16. All right. Your stats. Um, I will. Uh, block with the captain of the chariots. Yep. We'll equip an evil weapon for my reserve, which will be Naaman's horses. Mm -hmm. Which is prevented, but I will draw two with Captain. Okay. Um, then I am in 11 12. Okay. So I would like Priest to. Of Zeus calling down the lightning on. Let's go for. I know you can get the, you can get the tabernacle back with Glory of the Lord. Let's get Mordecai. Sure. Chop down. Definitely don't have any ways to get him back either. Oh yeah, love righteousness, but like, <laughs> you're gonna play Glory of the Lord anyways, and you, like right, it's gonna. Right, right. <laughs> um, so. And I would and like that... to ask for initiative. Forgot about the enhancement eating the prevent. Um, let's see here. Let's do Okay, um let's do I'm gonna activate good seed first. Sure. I'll reserve good seed to bring in the Magi, who's gonna ban to Gabriel. Gabriel's gonna negate he's is he CBN or is he why is he CBN? Captain. Uh, if a Syrian king is in play, he's CBN, so he's not CBN currently. So I'll negate him, and then I'll ban to John the Fisherman. John the Fisherman will reveal, um, I'll reveal Son of God here to toss your necks, and then I'll draw two. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. 13 cards in my hand. Just barely enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, how many good dominants do you have in your discard pile? I have a total of one in my discard pile. Total of one. Yeah, I think we gotta do it. I will toss Curse Their Parents for one on... The Magi, I guess. Okay. That's a small Magi. Um, I'm going to play a Dominant. Yep. Let's do Angel of the Lord. For your guy. Yep. Um, yep, I will give you Prosperity. Okay. It's me at two. My game. Um, let's see here. I already used you already used curse their parents, so I guess I don't have to worry about filling the the um I'll tell me got a beat. Sure. Um I don't have to worry about filling the I'll second coming back to grab second son I got. Um to worry about filling the discard pile with the dominance. Um I'm gonna discard self-destruction. I'm going to discard Stricken. It puts me at nine. Got to get rid of one more. We have Tabernacle in play. Tabernacle CBN, right? Yep. I'm sorry about this. Trying to figure it out. I'm going to discard Lost Child Found. Yep. 
You are good to go. Alright. I returned some of that by second coming just in case I yep. didn't say that. Yeah, I saw that. Alright. Well. Right, I'm gonna play Glory of the Lord. Yeah. See, you would have gotten a free tabernacle. Yep. Uh, that I would have. Oh, right. Outsiders is dead, and I killed Mordecai. Oh, right, yep. Uh, it's good to know. Potentially relevant. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, not that I'm going to have board advantage anytime soon, but... <laughs> <laughs> Put down an artifact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really wish I had played my block a little differently there. I don't think... Oh, that's... Yeah. Should have done... Should have hung on to my glory, too. Would have been good to, uh... Switch with the tabernacle. <laughs> so what with the tabernacle? I could have, uh... Exchanged my glory for something else that could actually... Uh, be uh, effective uh... in battle. Okay, that makes uh, sense. Yeah, but instead I'm sitting here with cards that I don't think I should do that with. So I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Okay. Try to be patient. One. Yes, two, three, patience is good. Um, Hopper. And no stars. Hopper hops and it generates a token for you. Hopper and uh, meek some token. Yep. Um, Upkeep. Ask for domination your draw phase. Ooh, domination my draw phase. And son of God, the hopper away. Or you can get rid of the token too. Uh, do I have any options? I don't think I really can stop that. So go ahead, do your worst. No, I'm gonna wait. You're good. So, um, upkeep. I have stable. I'm going to take upkeep. Yep. Go to reserve for a activity card. Grab flight into Egypt. That's all my nativity. That's all my upkeep stuff. Let's move to preparation phase. Down a face down artifact. Let's activate Veil on Temple. Let's see what you got. Yep. Uh, Asaph, Duplicity, Land of Moab, Three Woes, Crowd's Choice. Three Woes and Crowd's Choice. That's good. Good hand. Oh, you need to get a evil. You need a blocker with a Crowd's Choice. So we got Crowd's Choice, Duplicity. So crowd choice blocker, duplicity, and three woes. Okay, thank you. I will deactivate Temple Veil. Vale. Um, territory class enhancement. Go for Annunciation on Gabriel to get a good dominant for my deck. Mm -hmm. Grab Star of Bethlehem. Um, let's put out Simeon. Joseph, you had five cards in your hand, right? Yep. So, the best attack, you have to, I don't know if you have, I don't remember seeing Christian Martyr in there yet. I, don't, I didn't see Christian Martyr falling away. So I can do a solo attack. How many did you have in hand? How many cards do I have in hand? Yeah. I have nine cards in hand. Okay. So I can do a solo attack. Let's do do a solo attack with Zechariah. Uh, yeah, we'll do Zechariah. I'll prevent your next enhancement. You're up to block. And what are your numbers? Again, uh, 8, 11. 8, 11. Yeah. yeah, I guess uh, I will ask for Dominus. That's for Dominish. Okay, no falling away. Oh, yeah, you have cross choice. Okay, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and cross choice. Okay, I'll 
Crowd's choice is evil. Go to deck. Um, no, yeah, I think I just go for Saul. Okay. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you can let me know when you're done with Saul. Yeah. Uh, so I'll go to block. Okay, you're good to block. Okay. Uh, block with Saul. Go to reserve. Mm -hmm. For unsuccessful. Okay. Um, let's see here. Preventing your next. Do you have duplicity and unsuccessful in hand? Um, you don't have humble. You don't have any cards that make anything CBP in play. Okay. Um, you are you have initiative. Okay. I will play duplicity, which is prevented. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna do something. Okay. Let's do. Let's do a Herod's Temple here. Reserving mm -hmm. on top of all traffic Pharisees. Tossing everything this battle. You are up. I'll ask for Dominish. You can have Dominish. Play a three woes is evil to negate Herod's Temple. Yep. Now I'm going to play a Dom. We'll do a good three woes to negate your Paul. That's yep. All. Figured you had to have it. Right, unsuccessful goes back. And that's all I got. Good game. Sorry Good about game. that. That was I really I need to get a token for stricken. That's Yeah, I should have put something out to remind myself to. I had forgotten about it myself. Yeah. I uh, uh the the prevent next was tricky on uh Zechariah, so otherwise I I think I had a way, or because yeah, I had a resin to, or as, as long as I woes your resurrection revealer, I can resin to Damascus and get my my equip dude back to use gold shield on him. Oh, gold shield, that'd be crazy. But yep, yeah, that was my that was the other line I was looking at, and I was thinking that maybe I should have done that anyway. Just do resin. Uh, you know, resin to captain and get the prevent out of the way mm -hmm. and just get one of my weapons and then make you play a battle winner for me to do duplicity and yeah. unsuccessful I think yeah. maybe that would have been better I should have anticipated that you had the woes for Saul it could have worked um like, I had the protect nativity from harm, but I don't know if that would have hit in in time. Yeah, which, I mean, even if you did, then you'd still... Or, like, duplicity and unsuccessful would still... Yeah, no, I, 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 so, I, like, I, I, knew about, I knew about duplicity. I'm not sure, if, like, if I could prevent the harm and stop duplicity at the same time. Like, the thing I should have done was just star Bethlehem for one to get your remain from... Because I didn't activate an artifact, a regular artifact that turn. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, my other big misplay was when I drew the two off the captain of the chariots, I drew Glory of the Lord and three woes. Oh, no. So, I, I should have just asked for Dominish to use them yeah. right away. Because yeah. I, I, don't, I kind of forgot about the good seed um, yeah. being there and the fact that you could just bring someone in to negate him. So, that. Set me back two cards. And if I had had both of those out, then I might have activated the cross on my turn to. Or if I. You know, use woes to negate your resurrection revealer and then get the cross down. But. Yep. That was a few too many dominant misplays in that game, that's for sure. Magi and Simeon make good seed a lot stronger being able to pull in Gabriel. It's, sure, it's yeah. Always. Yeah, get the negate. In the gate or the band in the gate in the band or the negate in the search and the gate in reserve. Right. I'm trying stocks in here because it's really nice to have a few extra meeks and get rid of some trouble characters from your opponent's side. Oh sure. Yeah. 
So did you have uh, Angel on that? The... No, I drew, I drew him on the John when I brought him in. Off of the... the... When I handed in, I did a Magi to Gabriel to John to negate the guy and toss your next. It brought in... Um, it got me Angel Lord too. But did you so... have it on the stricken turn where I was searching for... No, I didn't. I didn't have Angel of the Lord that turn. Okay. Uh, so it would have paid off. It would have worked out. Okay. Yeah, Silly yeah, stricken. Yeah, because I was just gonna go to Naaman to make my curse their parents CBN. Oh man, I never considered that. And then, uh, uh, stricken, stricken, stricken. It's crazy. Man. All right. Well, good game. Good game. Glad to see the uh, newspaper deck still working out. Finally, actually get a game against it. <laughs> uh, 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 I think it's got some some good like good pros to it at least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nativity is uh, very solid. I think we've. I don't, I don't think it's as fast as disciples, but I think it's a little bit more resilient, and I think that um, it has yeah, just the resiliency. Like it's all the CB characters the disciples don't have. Sure, yeah. It works a little better against uh, Honeypot stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, are you, are you, what are you doing with, with uh, Impul and Glory of the Lord there? Like, you, do you have, I didn't see Holy Holies, right? Um, yeah, not really. I mean, like, Tabernacle is more in here for the actual like exchange ability. Um, uh -huh. Using that on offense with my musicians and on defense with Nadab. Okay. The tabernacle priest to try to just get the philosophy out of reserve and try to play that yeah. multiple yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think what I should have done in that turn, instead of playing Glory of the Lord, I should have kept it and then I had Asaph in hand so I could go to Shared Meal or I could exchange Glory of the Lord for Shared Meal in my reserve with Tabernacle that and then sense. have an interrupt and then they're into a CBN battle winner. Damon with self destruction sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm liking this defense. It doesn't do like I mean the the dominant rescues are definitely what give it the most trouble. So like the fact that I had complacent in as my only lost soul in the opener was kind of rough. Um, yeah, it's always annoying when it. People don't give you like other tokens. Just... Yeah, and then you also <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I figured you were probably gonna keep the token for yourself. Uh, when when Gaflason's out there, I don't play around like <clears throat> yeah. go down to zero. I just want you to have that off. <laughs> I, I like that that meme, the Team Fortress meme. Not many things scare me, but that thing scares. Me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one, and then. Uh, um, and then you had Resurrection Revealer right away, and that turned on. So I was like, oh, well, this is... And and that's really what, what killed me, because then uh, it allowed me to... I mean, I guess it allowed you to play Resurrection during battle, but then it allowed me also to play Second Coming during the battle, which I obviously should not have. So Yeah. I, I almost um, put Good Seed down instead of getting Gabriel, but I was like, oh, I need to activate right. Resurrection so I can actually play. Yeah. I was, I was even thinking about like, would it be worthwhile to second coming to woes to stop yeah. that from happening? To turn my complacent back on, but I didn't think I was getting the block either way, so I figured it probably wasn't worth it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, I and I would have had to do that before you attacked too, because then obviously. You'd, you get to play the resurrection before I have Dominish. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was kind of a, and I maybe should have let you go first too. I was kind of thinking about that shortly after I made the decision. I was like, I really don't have any acceleration in my hand and like nothing that I really need to set up. So I think if I just let you have a turn, um, and then allow me to get a few more cards, like stock up on defense a little bit, and just kind of give up on trying to keep my complacent around. You did catch my defense 
on the uh, off guard there at the beginning. I didn't. You got two quick uh, rescues in there. Yeah, like, yeah. The uh, um, I, I feel like the offense is powerful in the the battle winners. Like, I mean, that's pretty much what I had in my opening hand. It was like I had battle winners, but no gas. And so, like, if I can't yeah. set up music leader early. Yeah, I feel like Music Leader would have helped me out there. I don't know when exactly you got your woes, but if I was able to, you know, get the the triggers off of that, I think that would have yeah. set me up well. But yeah, Priest's use would have helped me pinch. Well, I mean, you don't have to draw after you get Music Leader, but yeah. right, yeah, yeah. I mean, I still want to. Uh, yeah, Music Leader doesn't search for defense though, which is unfortunate because like that's I mean between your tossing and preventing that was kind of having to waste a yeah. lot there yeah, I forgot about the I was like oh the weapon's gonna just eat up the prevent oh no yeah <laughs> almost had you there I was like okay he's got two enhancements toss the next oh no there's another one yeah yep but... alright well good game yeah. I guess, uh, good go report the score here.